it's down to the wire and campaigning is in full swing. The Ward 12 by-election is crucial, especially for the EFF, which is adamant that Metsimaholo will become the first municipality it governs. The DA has committed to support us. The Freedom Front Plus, we have never spoken to them. We don't speak to them. So we are in agreement in principle with the DA so that the municipality the will, will be given to the EFF. Winning War 12 would give the EFF nine seats. And with the DA's 12 seats, their voting bloc will be the largest. However, the DA has rubbished Malema's claim of an agreement. The Democratic Alliance National Coalition Task Team, of which I'm a member, will have a meeting with the EFF uh, on Thursday. Even if the agreement exists, there is another hurdle. The ANC with 18 seats is putting up a fierce fight, and it's open for coalition talks. There are smaller Yana parties like your MCA that their door is still open, even the Freedom Front Plus. If it wants to talk to us, our doors are still open. We want to talk to everybody who wants to work with us. Meanwhile, the mayor of Metsimaholo, Silothasa, is breathing a sigh of relief. But it could be short-lived as the DA plans to reinstitute its motion of no confidence against him. This while members of his own organization want him out. We need to draw a line in between. We need to prioritize the issues. Hence, we are saying now we have prioritized what 12 as, as, as the key uh, 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 mandate for now. Then other issues that are directly affecting the organization shall be dealt uh, uh, with after the, the by-election. And while this is playing out, the police are still investigating a case of conspiracy to commit murder, fraud and money laundering against two council members and a local businessman. Aldrin Simpia, SABC News, Susselberg, Free State.